welcome back to another video. If you can hear the washing machine behind me, it's because it's on. We are about to set off down south. Um, it's gonna be a, about a four hour journey um, because we are about to go on holiday very soon and we are rushing, we're washing some things. Um, it's actually the dishwasher, what am I on about? It's not the washing machine. We're just washing up some things and getting things done before we leave. Um, I'm frantically editing and uploading some videos for whilst I'm away, um, but I will be taking some art supplies with me and I thought I would kind of show you what I'm taking and then bring you along on the holiday, show you a bit of footage here and there of me doing some artwork whilst I'm finally relaxing for two weeks. Um, and then it's kind of like a bit of a holiday vlog, but I probably won't talk through any of it. Um, maybe do a voiceover at the end, I don't know. But you'll see me using the supplies that I'm about to pack up now. But I'm going to be taking my etcher mini satchel i've actually emptied it for the first time since i got it um, and i'm going to be refilling it with a number of things so firstly i thought we could take you know your standard pencils so i've got um just a lumograph um aquarelle so it's a water soluble pencil 4b i thought it was just a really standard thicker pencils for if i'm wanting to do some shading and things like that and then i have my trusty Pentel Side FX 0.5 mechanical pencil, which I showed in my July favourites recently. So they are the only pencils I'm taking. Along with that, I'm taking a Faber Castell and I can't remember what brand this pink uh, kneadable eraser is, but I got it in a scroll box. I'm going to be taking some kneadable erasers. I have a trusty sharpener, which again, I think I found, uh, I received in a scroll box and it's just a really handy um, small one. Um, I have some replacement lead for my mechanical pencil. I will be taking some jelly rolls. I have the trusty Sakura jelly roll and then we have the Uniball Signa, uh, Signo white gel pen as well because I just think it's really handy to have for if you need highlights. Um, I will be taking two water refillable brushes just from some watercolours. I will be taking this Unipin brush fine liner in grey just for I don't know deepening things with a bit of colour or just making a, a monotone and then I will be taking my homemade ink brush as well which is just a watered down version um, of ink um, and so they, they're my main ink brushes for that um, along with the water brushes I will be taking my etcher slash viva colour sheet um, watercolour booklets that I have they're just they're so thin and light that it's not going to add anything extra in my luggage. Um, so I just thought I'd take those. Along with that is my natural um, sea sponge because I want to do some texture with the painting. And then to pair that as well, I've tried to think of things that will pair up. I will be ta taking these Arteza um, water brush pens. So they've got actual bristle brushes on there. Um, I just did a really small selection of colours. We've got some kind of sandy colours. Um, some greens for the shrubbery and then some blues for the sky and then just a red and an orange for a pop of colour in case I see a flower or something like that but they are water soluble so that I can pair them with my Viviva colour sheets as well. Um, I can never really go anywhere without some ink fine liners so we have a pack of the pigment liners by Stedler and um, these are probably my favourite liners I use. Um, and then along the same vein, I have my really rustic little ink pen that I have here that goes like this so it doesn't spike everything. Um, I love this ink pen. And then I'm taking away two FW inks, um, ac uh, acrylic inks. This one is Purple Lake and Marine Blue. They're just a really lovely, I don't know if you can see that, muted tone of colour. And I just, I love these colours and I think it'll just be really nice to work with and then finally in terms of actual supplies I will be taking my um, Faber-Castell polychromos pencils in this roll um it's a bit excessive excessive but I want to take all the colors because I might need to all the colors I don't know and um, so that's it for the supplies obviously I need some tissue for painting um and then in terms of sketchbooks Again, a little excessive, but I'm going to be taking my big sketchbook that I've been doing a lot of stuff in lately and a lot of my paintings and stickers and things like that. So I'll be taking that one. Um, I'll be taking my moleskin. You've not seen anything here. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a few. This is more my playing around sketchbook if I'm just wanting to, to kind of test some things in there or doodle and things like that. So I thought that would be really good for zoning out. And then I'm going to be taking my etcher. Um, 
sketchbook as well it's an a6 sketchbook i love this sketchbook i've done some really lovely watercolor work in here but i've also been using it almost like a bit of a travel journal i kind of i do some paintings and then i write at the bottom why or where i did those paintings so i thought it'd be really good to do some travel journaling at the same time so that's kind of why i brought that and then on a side note i'll be bringing my two um books that i received recently from total uh 3d total which are the the people who have done the books that i've kickstart uh, pledged on kickstarter these i will probably show in my monthly favorites this next month for, Aug uh, for august because i really love them and that's why i'm taking them so one of them is how to keep a sketchbook journal and the other is a character design quarterly magazine that 3d total do so i will probably show those in more detail in that monthly favorites um vlog blog vlog monthly favorites video um anyway i'm rushing as you can tell i'm talking through this and speeding through it but that's everything i'm taking so i'll try and film a bit of footage um kind of as the journey but it depends on how rushed it is and how manic the airport is but let's hope we can get some artwork done whilst we're relaxing and i'm sure i'm sure we will so um i'll bring along the journey anyway
that was the holiday. In the end, I didn't end up filming everything I did. I kind of wanted to do a bit of it in a more relaxed setting. Having said that, I only filmed a little bit of each thing I did, but um, it was such a beautiful holiday, really, really relaxing. I finally just got to, you know, get back into the groove of doing some art and just relaxing whilst, you know, being in the sunshine. It was lovely. Um, so I thought I'd do a little flick through of the full pieces of artwork um, so you can see. There's only, you know, a certain amount of them, so um, this shouldn't be a spoiler for the flick through of this sketchbook. But as you can see, the sketchbook's come away a bit worse for wear, so I think I might end up colouring the front of this um, because it is looking a bit grimy and it's kind of embarrassing when I open it. Um, but let me get to the correct page so I don't spoil too much. Um, okay, so firstly, as you saw, this was whilst we were on the flight to Cyprus. Um, these were the two seats kind of diagonal to me. Um, I just thought they were kind of nice to draw really. So I just um, inked those with my Stedler uh, inking pens and I'm really pleased with the way they came out. I thought I got a lot of detail in there considering and sometimes I'm a bit daunted by using just an ink pen for something like this, but I think it worked really, really well. I then kind of to ease it in on the first day of getting there, um, the first full day, I just did a few sketches, so some guy under a tree on his um, on his sunbed, a sunbed from behind, and then some palm trees because they're everywhere. Then, as you saw, <laughs> there's a little bit of footage there. There were a few little cats wandering about, um, and <laughs> my partner's nieces named this ginger one Ginger Beer because obviously he's ginger and. Um, he was just a really sweet little cat. He'd always come over, have a few belly rubs, probably looking for a bit of food. <laughs> and he was just really, really sweet. So I used my Viva colour sheets and did a little painting of him, which was nice. And then using some of my FW acrylic ink, I actually inked a crow. So there were loads of these hooded crows everywhere. They kind of had markings like a, a British magpie would, you know, the black and white. Um, but having looked them up, they were definitely hooded crows. Um, so I did a little bit of an inking of those. Uh, this would focus, which I thought was really fun. And it, do you know what? It was really difficult to do because of the humidity and the heat out in Cyprus. My ink kept clogging up my ink pen. So this was actually over like two days I had to do this because I was just constantly having to clean my pen out, <laughs> which was a bit of a pain. Then we have um, this one. So we ended up going to Paphos Zoo um, for the kids and they had some lemurs there and you could pay five euros to go in there and feed the lemurs. And it was quite a, a very nice big cage, which I was pleased to see. And do you know what? It was amazing to do. And I had a picture of me with the lemur. This <laughs> smile is really creepy. It's not really, I think I've done it too far up on the chin and it's not wide enough. Um, this doesn't really look like me, but anyway, um, the lemurs were, had such soft pads and they were really, really cute and fun to feed. So I thought I would record that because that was probably the highlight of my um, Paphos Zoo experience there. So that's what I've recorded there. Then I went into Paphos um, itself and there was a gentleman selling sea sponges and as I mentioned in my last favourites video, I've been using sea sponges, the dried ones, to stipple on and make trees with. So I thought I'd use this fresh one and see what the, the kind of vibe was when I used it with my Viviva colour sheets. And this was kind of the texture. It wasn't as detailed and fine as perhaps the... Um, the, the harder sea sponge was, but I'm gonna let it dry out and maybe use it some more there. But yeah, this was really fun to do on that one. Then, so <laughs> a few things. I did do a piece of artwork under this. So I did do a painting under this of two mermaids and it was going to be my girlfriend's nieces. Um, and I, they liked it, but I hated it, so I wanted to cover it up. So whilst we were in Paphos, we went to the heritage sites where they've got all the Roman mosaics, and I was really inspired. I have some photos of some beautiful patterning, which I'm trying to replicate here. This is not finished yet, I will continue it, but I've got some beautiful patterning in this, and I'm replicating that patterning all the way around here. Um, so I've been trying to do that, but it is a time-consuming process, but I've really enjoyed that. 
Then again at Paphos Zoo, there was a big pond of koi fish and you could throw some food in there. So this was just my kind of loose painting of those koi fish. And I think yeah, that's the last thing I did. So as you can see, I actually got a lot of artwork done. I kind of, I've mentioned this maybe in a previous vlog from when we moved into this new studio. I found really pressured that I should be doing lots of art in this new studio and I think it really put me into a bit of a funk and so I was struggling to produce stuff I wanted to produce but having this two week break um, really really reset me and I was finding I really wanted to continue doing artwork and it's 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 kind of res put a reset on and I'm ready to start producing more artwork so I hope you're ready to join me in that journey <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed this video so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.